I know you're not supposed to talk about Fight Club, but we're gonna talk about Fight Club. Welcome to the void, and by the void it's really just my bedroom. So it always comes as a surprise to friends and family that I've never seen Fight Club. I honestly have no idea what this movie's about. I know Brad Pitt's in it. I don't know, I just know that there's a club and there's fighting involved. So uh, we're gonna figure out what that's about. And I'm gonna watch Fight Club with this bottle of Moscato. Why not? So thank you for joining me and we're gonna see how this actually goes. Okay, so we knew that much. Yep, check. Check. Okay, so I named them. I had the three. Meet, meet Wolf. Meet, Jared Leto's in this? Oh shit. I know this because Tyler knows this. And the bombs, the revolution, has got something to do with a girl named Marla Singer. Is it Helena? Oh. Bob had bitch tits. <laughs> this was a support group for men with testicular cancer. <laughs> this is deeper than I thought it was going to be. Not off. I wait. Can you please just give me something? You need healthy, natural sleep. Choose some valerian root and get more exercise. That's what they always say. You want to see pain? Swing by First Methodist Tuesday nights. See the guys with testicular cancer. Did you find your partner? Okay, what's going on? I'm not crazy. What was that? Like the big moosey. Did you see that? Is that a part? I kept seeing that. I felt like that happened too in the hallway where... Oh, was that Brad Pitt? What is that? Obviously that's in there for a reason or I'm crazy, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> he actually cried in his boobs. Oh, so he went to all of these? It's pretty messed up. <laughs> they cried harder. <laughs> then I cried harder. I was the warm little center that the life of this world crowded around. Resurrected. He's like addicted to these places. There she is. And she ruined everything. She already walks in here looking like a Tim Burton character. I love it. <laughs> My tuberculosis Friday night. This is how he spends his Friday night? Marla. She's doing the same thing. Taurus. He's a Taurus. I no longer have any fear of death. Oh, good God. Yeah, he has like no right to be there. I'm so close to the end and all I want is to get laid for the last time. Oh my God. Okay, but you actually do have to feel for her. If I did have a tumor, I'd name it Marla. <laughs> You're a faker. You're not dying. I'm dying the way Chloe back there is dying. And neither are you. It's like just, validation. Okay, you take lymphoma. What? Tuberculosis. You take tuberculosis. My skin doesn't go over at all. They're it's awful. What the hell? They're both terrible. They're not afraid to die. The philosophy of life is that she might die at any moment. The tragedy, she said, was that she didn't. So she doesn't care, yeah. Everywhere I travel, single serving sugar, single serving cream, single pat of butter, the people I meet on each flight. They're single serving friends. Between takeoff and landing, we have our time together. This is That's actually deep. <laughs> that was good. I like that line. They're just single serving friends. That's nuts. Long enough They're not afraid to die. <gasps> oh my god. Obviously, this is like in his head, but it's like this is what he wants. You accept your fate. It's all right here. Emergency water landing 600 miles an hour. Blank faces. Calm as Hindu cows. This is so morbid. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. Hmm. Tyler, you are by far the most interesting single serving friend I've ever met. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. See, I was thinking everything on the plane is single serving, even. Oh, I get it. It's very clever. How's it working out for you? It's not. He's lonely and he's depressed and. Never mind. Wow. Look at him go. Oh my god, he just stole it! It's all the debris from it? What? There it is. Wow, Pathons, I've never used one. <laughs> if you ask me now, I couldn't tell you why I called him. You had nothing else. Okay, well, he meets up with them eventually, because they have to be in Fight Club. Can you call back on a payphone like that? So I don't know if this is weird. So, so far, this is way deeper than I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought it was supposed to be an action movie. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure it'll probably end up that way eventually, but wow, I mean, so far it's just a giant monologue from Edward Norton, the narrator, and he is a very empty and sad person. Helena Bottom Carter is the same way. I like, like, the little ways that they really show that with her standing in the middle of the street. 
and then like him on the airplane and stuff. But I have no idea what the, where this is gonna go. I'm very excited. I should find a hotel. Yeah, he what? doesn't even have a place to stay. What? You called me because you needed a place to stay. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, hey, no, no, no. Yes, you I, did. I didn't mean... so just ask. He did. Cut the plane. Just ask. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. What? This is how you join Fight Club. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Let me tell you a little bit about Tyler Durden. So someone has to be there to switch the projectors at the exact moment that one reel ends and the next one begins. Towards some other interesting opportunity. Like? It's like some single frames of pornography in the family film. Dog with the celebrity voices meet for the first time in reel three. That's when you'll catch a flash of Tyler's contribution to the film. Oh my god, that's like what he was doing before. Oh my god, hold on, pause. Pause. I get it. So that's, I knew I wasn't crazy because I saw him like every just like a split second. He was, oh, that's nuts how he was doing that. Like just a split second at like the first like 10 minutes of the movie. That is nuts. He's putting porn in children's movies? How awful. Oh God. Oh God. <gasps> no. He was the guerrilla terrorist in the food service industry. That, that's a good thing. No, it is not. How much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? I've never been in a fight. Hit me in the <laughs> ear. Well, Jesus, I'm sorry. Ow! Christ. They're all beat up. At least he has a friend. How is this man not in jail? Is this how they start Fight Club? Oh my god. This is how they start Fight Club. They're just in like a Denny's parking lot. <laughs> I'm so happy as a friend. We were finding out more and more that we were not alone. Everyone's Tyler going and I just here. Gave it a name. It's Fight Club. Welcome to Fight Club. I knew it. Leaders of Fight Club. If this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. Ooh. Wow, they really put you in there. Holy shit! Even if I could tell someone they had a good fight, who you were in Fight Club is not who you were in the rest of the world. What happens in the Vegas stays in Vegas. You first... could fight any celebrity, who would you fight? Shatner. <laughs> I'd fight William Shatner. <laughs> That's fair, I heard he's a we douche. We all started seeing... Oh, they want to fight this guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy, yeah. This is fun. It's pretty satisfying, though. I think that's the whole point, right? How about this week? He stopped going to those other club meetings. Club became the reason to cut your hair and <laughs> trim your fingernails. Okay. Any historical figure. That's disgusting. Like Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you at any support groups. Dude, the house is disgusting. Tyler's door was closed. I've been living here for two months and Tyler's door was never closed. Wait, what? What is she doing there? Wait! This is my house. What are you doing in my house? Fuck you. He was with her. He just doesn't remember. Have you ever heard of death rattle before? He did. He fucked that up. Are you kidding? He went for her. Wow. Somebody call the cops. These people are just disasters. Yeah, the girl who lives here used to be a charming, lovely girl. She's lost faith in herself. <laughs> that was actually funny. She's a mom. Good luck trying to save her. Ah, self-commentary. You're not into her, are you? No, God, not at all. Mm -hmm. Put a gun to my head and paint the walls with my brains. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's Stay so emo. Me. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. The Wait. dynamite. Dynamite. Left a residue of ammonium oxalate potassium. It means it was homemade. Did he blow up his own apartment? Are you saying that I'm a suspect? No, no. Yes. May need to go visit. You know, you are such a nutcase. I can't even begin to keep up. Her cheekbones, though, can cut glass. To make soap, first we render fat. The salt balance has to be just right. So the best fat for making soap comes from humans. Wait. What? what? Liposuction clinic. What the fuck? What? Hey, dirt. Richest, creamiest fat. Ah! Ooh, disgusting! <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh my god, oh my god, it's leaking! It got stuck on the barbed wire! <gasps> what is this? This is a chemical burn. Oh! Stay with the pain, don't shut this out. No, no, oh my god! I have to consider the possibility that God does not like you. We don't need him. We don't like we. I got Fuck damnation, man. Fuck redemption. We are God's unwanted children. Oh. Congratulations. You're one step closer to the bottom. 
Cornelius. Me, Wolf. It's me. Bob. First rule is. He's in Fight Club. You heard about the guy that invented this thing? Yeah, it's him. Uh, yeah. It's this guy. You know about Tyler Durden? Wait, what? There's a sign on the front that says Lou's Tap. I'm fucking Lou. Oh, what? I want everybody out of here right now. Oh, he's got some you punch hear me in him. Now? Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Fucking use the basement tray! Each one of you has a homework assignment. Okay. You're gonna go out, you're gonna start a fight with a total stranger. Most people, <laughs> normal people, do Don't just fight. anything to avoid a fight. Yeah, exactly. The priest! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! <laughs> we need to talk. <gasps> He's gonna fight his boss! Oh my god! He's gonna... No, he's gonna fake it. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god! Please stop! <laughs> what a sicko! I love it! Under and behind and inside, everything this man took for granted. Something horrible had been growing. <gasps> oh my god, the framing! <gasps> no. They're just thrashing things. Is that like a blockbuster? Hooligans! I miss blockbuster. Fight Club is a state of mind. Oh, That's fine, fine. oh no. What are you doing, Tyler? Raymond, you're going to die. <laughs> what? Don't kill Raymond him. <gasps> the question, Raymond, was what did you want to be? Veterinarian, <laughs> veterinarian. That means you have to get more schooling. If you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, you will be dead. Holy shit, that was like the most fucked up run, way to run, like... Run. <laughs> encourage someone. Holy sh I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, why why does a weaker person need to latch on to a strong person? What 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 is that? What do you get out of it? She's got a point. No, that's that's not us. We're, we're us? What do you mean by us? I'm sorry, are you what do you want? What is going on? What? Look right. If the applicant is young, tell me he's too young. Old, too old, fat, too fat. Applicant? The applicant then waits for three days without food, shelter, or encouragement. He may then enter and begin his training. I think this is a game. You're too young to train here. End of story. Wow, this is crazy. Get off the porch. Sooner or later, we all became what Tyler wanted us to be. Oh my God, Bob! Sir, three hundred dollars personal burial money. Yes, sir. All right. What? Oh, let him in. It's just Bob. He would do anything Bob. to join Fight Bob. Club. Yeah, you? he's out there. You're too blonde! Get out of here, <laughs> He is too blonde there. How many people live here now? One of many recent acts of vandalism around the city, somehow related to underground boxing clubs. <laughs> Smiley face. It's like the Watchmen. Psychos. Sir, the first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. Who are you people? Hmm. Okay, what's going on? What are they gonna do? Oh my god, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Oh. Hi. You're gonna call up your rigorous investigation. You're gonna publicly state that there is no underground group. Or, these guys are gonna take your balls. Holy shit, he's beating the fuck out of Jared Leto. Why wasn't I told about Project Man? First rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. What are you talking about? Weird. Why didn't you in This does not belong to us. We are not special. What are you doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Guys, what would you wish you'd done before you died? Paint a self-portrait. Build a house. If you would have died right now, how would you feel about your life? I don't know. I wouldn't feel anything good about my life. Is that what you want to hear me say? <gasps> Dude! Oh, that gave me anxiety. Why do you think I blew up your condo? Of course he did it. What the hell? I'd never been in a car accident. This must have been what all those people felt like before I filed them the statistics in my reports. Mmm. It's a circle. <laughs> He's yeah, laughing. Tyler was gone. The house had become a living thing. Mm-hmm. Gunshot wounds? Bob? Operation Latte Thunder, go. They shot Bob. 
Oh, Bob, no! He's dead. You're running around in ski masks trying to blow things up. What did you think was going to happen? In Project Mayhem, we have no names. This is a man, and he has a name. It's like the cult. Robert Paulson. In death, a member of Project Mayhem has a name. I can't believe they killed off Meatloaf. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. Are these people... Is, is this his mind? His name is Robert Paulson. No! Wait, wait, wait. This is his mind. This is his mind. I'm having a meltdown over this. I'm looking for Tyler Dirt. I wish I could help you. I was living in a state of perpetual deja vu. Everywhere I went, I felt I'd already been there. It was like following an invisible man. Do you know me? You're Mr. Durden. What did you just say? What's wrong with you? What did you just call me? Say my name. Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden. Yeah. What's going on? No. Promise. Why do people? It's like know? okay. It's like it's an alter ego. <laughs> oh God. Same person. Mm-hmm. He beat him. He beat his own self. Sometimes he was still. Just letting yourself become Tyler Durden. Oh! Because what I've come to realize is that I, I, I care about you and I don't want anything bad to happen to you because of me. <laughs> I tried, Tyler. You have very serious emotional problems. Please get on the bus. Please get on the bus. It's fine. Remember, stay out of major cities for at least a couple of days, okay? Tyler, you're the worst thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I believe the plan is to blow up the headquarters of these credit card companies and the TRW building. That's fair. Why credit card companies? Mm. You erase the debt record, then we all go back to zero. Yep. Oh my you god. You said if anyone ever interferes with Project Mayhem, even you, we gotta give us ball. Mm. God! Running around your underpants. Man, you look like a crazy person. His alter ego! You. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna like end up dying at the end of this somehow because he's fucking crazy. <laughs> God damn it, since when is Project Mayhem about murder? The buildings are empty. Security, maintenance, all our people. We're not killing anyone, man. We're setting them free. This is insane! Wow! Wow! Was no one going to tell me about this? I mean, everyone said, oh my god, you've never seen Fight Club, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. You think we've accomplished, man? We're at the beginning! Your voice in my head. Your voice in mine. How far have you come because of me? Very far. The gun's in my hand. The gun's in his hand. Why do you want to put a gun to your head? Not my head, Tyler. Our head. What? Let her, let her go. I would ask. You're shot. Yes, I'm shot. Everything's gonna be fine. The Pixies? You met me at a very strange time in my life. What the fuck? This is my childhood. My dad loved this music. Where is my mind? This movie is way better than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, everything is in his head and it's absolutely atrocious. It's just, I mean, I also drank an entire bottle of wine and I'm so absolutely sorry because I thought this was just gonna be one of your random, honestly, I wanna call it like the Fast and the Furious kind of movies where it's just mind numbing and stupid. God, this is absolutely lovely and I loved it so much. It's much more than I ever thought it was going to be. I understand now why it's had like such a lasting impression on like the cultural footprint of society. Like I get it. So thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had a good time. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I wanna do Donnie Darko next, but let me know in the comments, like, like and subscribe. It's just a girl having a meltdown after a bottle of wine to really good movies at this point. In the Pixies, it ends with the Pixies? No one's, no one ever told me that. Excuse me? <laughs> all right, let me know if you want to see more of this content, all right? And thank you so much for everything. I hope that you really enjoyed this.